A group of wolves. The three in front are old and sick. They walk in front to set the pace of the running group lest they get left behind. The next five are the strongest and best. They are tasked to protect the front side if there is an attack. The pack in the middle are always protected from any attack. The five behind them are also among the strongest and best. They are tasked to protect the backside if there is an attack. The last one is the leader. He ensures that no one is left behind. He keeps the pack unified and on the same path. He is always ready to run in any direction to protect and serve as the bodyguard to the entire group. Just in case anyone wanted to know what it really means to be a leader, it's not about being out front, it means taking care of the team. Any education system can be seen in a similar fashion. It's about helping each other and working together with the goal of a holistic and effective education for the students. Every student is different, and it's important to recognize that some students may excel in one subject and not the other. As educators, collaborating and providing feedback is paramount to obtaining a holistic idea of how any student is doing. Teamwork such as this can help in preparing more effective and holistic lessons for groups of students. Holistically, as teachers, none of us can regard ourselves as the completed puzzle. That's why it's also important to provide each other with feedback, holistically. Common effective practices such as class observation organized by your team leader can be an effective approach. But none of this is effective if you have a toxic work environment, which drives the question, are you a cool dude? In a friendly work environment, the cool dude is able to effectively communicate with other faculty members to facilitate positive and constructive changes without damaging the potentially fragile egos of veteran educators. The cool dude also recognizes the spoils of politeness and banter, a staple diet for the average working Joe. Collaboration would be laborious and minimally painful without the cool dude. With good teamwork comes good projects, an interdisciplinary approach gravitates towards a global theme. In its very nature, cross-curricular tasks are holistically beneficial for students. Examples can include getting involved with a local community project, turn that English essay into a scientific investigation journal, or perform and film the next presentation. Teacher meetings to discuss student progress or concerns play a vital role in a student's holistic education. In our school, we hold weekly meetings to discuss the ongoings of the school, student progress, individual education plans, as well as using technology to display monthly tasks for each class. Of course, in the absence of cool dudes, all of this would be tedious and holistically boring.